expert update is brought to you by Elite Exteriors, roofing, siding, and windows. All right, 533 is the time now. Once again, we're checking out Viper here first. Uh, there's still a little bit of leftover light mist or a few flurries. We have to get in our super high res or high definition radar mode to even pick it up here. I uh, can see mainly southwestern Sarpy County, say Gretna, back down toward Ashland, Greenwood, uh, right along Highway 6 and I-80 there through the Platte River re region. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of that. In fact, as I widen this out, you can actually see a lot of this being picked up as snow flurries over the last six hours. It actually increases a little bit toward Lincoln or just south of the capital city now. Uh, again, just kind of cold enough to squeeze out all that available moisture this morning. Nothing real heavy, nothing that's going to cause any additional problems, but again, caution to the wind. Uh, we did get cold enough last night in the mid 20s that any liquid out there on untreated surfaces has frozen back and it is slick in some spots. So keep that in mind as you head off to work or school this morning. Temperatures certainly on the chilly side and won't move much today. Right now, Bennington, you're at 24 in Elkhorn. Neighborhood numbers there, at 22 degrees. Out at Lakeshore, we're currently 23 as we pan back to the east. Not much change right now. Swanson Park, 23. Same thing going on into Council Bluff. So once again, hour by hour, temperatures pretty steady through the morning drive. Uh, some very light mist might hit your windshield and you might see some of those real small fine snowflakes. That's going to be about it. Otherwise, again, we keep it cold today. Lots of clouds. Temperatures get back close to 28 for the high of this afternoon the way it looks now. And once again, Matt and Emily, kind of great today. We do warm up a little bit through the weekend. We'll